गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड चैप्टर टू पैरल लाइन्स एंड ट्रांसवर्सल एंड लास्ट पीरियड वी हैव सॉल्व सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ योर टेक्स बुक पेज नंबर टेन एंड लेवन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिस से टू पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन वन चूज द करेक्ट ऑल्टरनेटिव इन द एडजॉइनिंग फिगर इफ लाइन एम इज पैरल टू लाइन एन एंड द लाइन पी इज अ ट्रांसवर्सल देन फाइंड एक्स see the figure here line m and n are parallel lines and line p is a transversal see in the figure there are two angles how are these two angles they are interior angles because they are inside the two parallel lines so let us choose which answer is correct line m parallel to line n and line p is a transversal so 3x and x they are 3x and x are interior angles so 3x plus x will be equal to 180 degree that means they are interior angles and they are supplementary means their pair their addition is 180 now 3x plus 1x is 4x that is equal to 180 degree so what will be x x is 180 upon 4 which is equal to 45 now we have x is equal to 45 degree so let us choose and see here c is your answer now see the second question in the adjoining figure second question in the adjoining figure if line a and b are parallel and line l is a transversal then what you have to do find x understood now see the figure here line a and b are parallel and line l is a transversal here 4x and here 2x is given we have to find x so for this let us take this 2x angle and name this angle as y let us name an angle as y as shown in the figure why why because this y and 2x they are vertically opposite angles so y will be equal to 2x because both are same so therefore y is equal to 2x what is the reason vertically opposite angles now line a and b are parallel lines and line t is a transversal this we have to write in solution now 4x plus y 4x plus y are interior angles and their sum is 180 degree so 4x plus y is equal to 180 degree because they are interior angles now 4x plus 2x where this 2x will come from because y is 2x so y in place of y we have sub, uh, substituted 2x 4x plus 2x is equal to 180. So 4x plus 2x is 6x is equal to 180. And after dividing this, x is equal to 180 by 6. Answer is 30. So x is equal to 30. So what is your option? D is your option. That is x is equal to 30. Now let us come back to the next question of practice set 2.2. See question number two in the adjoining figure. Line P is parallel to line Q. Line T and line S are transversals. Find measure of angle X and angle Y using the measure of angles given in the figure. P and Q are parallel. Here two transversals are given, T and S. To find angle X, what we take? We take first T is the transversal and P and Q are parallel. So for that purpose, we have to name two angles in the figure name the angles as a and b as shown in the figure here first a and here b so why we have taken a here because we want to find the value of a now how a this angle a and this given angle 40 they are same because they are forming corresponding angle so a is equal to 40 a is equal to 40 because they are corresponding angle a is 40 from the figure we have seen a is 40 that is corresponding angle now these two angles x plus a is 180 degree because these two angles are linear pairs so x plus a is equal to 180 degree angles in a linear pair but what is a a is 40 so x plus 40 is 180 and this plus 40 will go to right side it becomes minus 40 so x is equal to 180 minus 40 is 140. Now, what is angle X? Angle X is angle X is 140. Okay. Now, angle X we have found out. Now, to find angle Y, 
what we have to take p and q are parallel but here this time s is your transversal because to find y we need this angle b and what is angle b angle b is 70 degree because these two are vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles are same so now see here we have line p and line q are parallel and line s is a transversal and what is b b is 70 degree vertically opposite angle see b is equal to 70 degree they are vertically opposite angles and now y plus b is interior angles okay y plus b is interior angles so y plus b is equal to 180 that is interior angles are supplementary now what is b b is 70 degree so substitute y plus 70 is 180 so y is equal to 180 minus 70 is 110 and now angle y is equal to 110 degree understood we got angle x as 140 degree and angle y as 110 degree okay children now the third question we will see in the next page in the adjoining figure line l and line m are parallel find measure of angle a angle b and angle c using the measures of given angles and we have to justify the answer now see here line l and line m are parallel line p and line q are transversal so in the figure which three angles are given angle 80 degree is given a b and c that are also given but here we have to take as x this angle we have to suppose that x this angle will be x name an angle as x as shown in the figure now line p is parallel to line q and line l is a transversal therefore what is x see here from the figure 80 and this angle x how are they they are alternate angles alternate angles are congruent so a plus x is equal to 180 degree angles in a linear pair now a plus 80 is equal to 180 degree see here they are alternate angle that's why x is equal to 80 and x plus a will be linear pair angles in a linear pair so a plus x is 180 so a plus 80 x means 80 degree it is 180 so a is equal to 180 minus 80 100 we got angle a as 100 degree let us find angle b so line l is parallel to line m on transversal q so this is q on q so we will find angle b to find b what we have angle x and angle b angle x and angle b they are corresponding angles so they are equal so c x is equal to b because they are corresponding angles therefore angle b is what 80 degree because x is equal to 80 just now we have found x is equal to 80 in the part 1 see in this part angle a is 100 angle x is 80 so substitute as x angle x is equal to b this means angle b is 80 now line p is parallel to line q on transversal m and b is equal to c they are corresponding angles so b is equal to c how see there c and b they are corresponding angles that's why they are equal and we got b as 80 degree so what will be c c will also be equal to 80 degree this is from 2 okay now thus we got angle a as 100 degree angle b as 80 degree angle c as 80 degree so students you have to practice these sums twice in your copy and we have finished it now thank you